So this is a day in the life of the Traveler. <laughs> I'm learning more about you all the time. Let us make our way to the end of Lingju Pass. If there are no footprints there, it would suggest that the miners are still within the pass itself. However, if we find new tracks, we can follow them wherever they may lead. It would appear that they made their way through Lingju Pass and kept moving. If we follow their footprints, we should be able to find where they went! <sighs> oh no! The footprints end here! We should inquire with anyone nearby. If the miners came through here, they may well have seen them. Hi there! Have you seen anyone dressed like a miner around here? A miner? I'm afraid not. Uh, let's try someone else. Stop bothering me! Can't you see I'm cloud watching? Jeez! A little grumpy, aren't we? Whatever. Let's go ask someone else. It must have been about 
four or five days ago? There were a few men who came through here carrying baskets and picks. I guess that could have been them. Yeah, that's them! Four or five days ago? It appears that they were moving slower than we'd anticipated. Traversing the geography of Lingju Pass must have held them up. It was so strange. Four big guys with lifeless expressions. It was like they were in some sort of trance. And there was a child staggering in front of them. Huh. This child. Did you see what they looked like? I caught a glimpse. Blue hair. Short. I think... I think it was a girl. She wasn't smiling. In fact, she looked very serious. And they took this road? Yes. They followed it straight from here. Let's go after them! Those monsters were so aggressive. They must have noticed me walking through. Before I knew it, they were all over me. Thank you all for saving me. My name is Wanyu. I belong to Liyue's Shengyu Hall. I head up our human culture and civilization research. Huh? Are you sure you're not a miner? A miner? Yeah, we're looking for a group of four strong fellas carrying mining equipment. I... I think I saw those people. Really? Yes. I set off from Nantianmen the day before yesterday, heading for Lingju Pass. About halfway there, I came across some people. A few men, and a child. I was in a hurry. I didn't get a good look. I'm afraid I'm not even sure what they looked like. Apologies. I think that's all we needed to hear. Thank you. I hope it's useful to you. I'd better get going. There's a conference I need to attend. Again, thank you all for your help. According to this scholar, the miners were heading for Nantianmen. Can we be absolutely sure that it was the men that we're looking for? A child with a group of adults sounds pretty close to Paimon. Uh, but... Hey, perhaps that rock over there can tell us more. It looks promising. I'll do my best. It's the same group, all right. They followed this road. <laughs> Mr. Kunjun, your stone seeing is something I won't forget in a hurry. I suppose it is an asset, though I rarely find a use for it. But praise for Mr. Zhongli is high praise indeed. It's a good thing we brought our Kunjun compass along. We would have lost all sense of direction a long time ago. <laughs> you think so? I guess it's been a worthwhile trip then. It feels like... like we're cracking a criminal case. It's a lot of fun. Be that as it may, we would do well to keep our guards high. 
Four fully grown men in a trance-like state, walking ceaselessly day and night over hills and mountains led by a child. This is no ordinary incident. Oh, you're quite right, Mr. Zhongli. We should have our wits about us. That's not all. Our scholar was attacked by Geovishop hatchlings, but the level of aggression they exhibited was unusual. We have encountered many clues along the way. So far, they've pointed us in the right direction. Hmm. The miners headed in the direction of Nan Tianmen the day before yesterday. From here, they would have had to navigate a perilous mountain road. If their destination is indeed Nan Tianmen, we should be able to catch up with them. Great! No time to lose! I left a mark in the vicinity just now. If Uncle Dai does pass through here, it should guide him to us. Clever thinking! A classic Zhongli move! There's a basket lying here, too. This must be one of the miners. Hey! Hello? Can you hear us? Judging by his appearance, he must have collapsed from exhaustion. Should we wake him up? I can... I can still dig. Oh, sounds like he's whispering something. It seems that he thinks he still has work to do. Something's not right. There's a camp nearby. We should take him there and monitor his condition before deciding our next move. He's worked himself into a stupor. Thankfully, he's not in serious danger. Hyman heard him talking about digging for something. Did he dig himself into this state? It's certainly a possibility. Hmm? It looks like there's something in his pocket. Are these... ore fragments? Hmm... I just witnessed the memories within these ore fragments. This person brought these fragments out of the mine. He's one of the four that we're searching for. How he came to be here is what we need to understand. So he was kidnapped, and then abandoned here. But if they didn't need him, why bring him all the way out here? Unless something happened. Something that led him to fall behind. Oh, wait a moment. Seeing these fragments has jogged my memory. I have something for you. What is it? Oh, is it a present? Something for us? As I mentioned, before I met Uncle Dai, I was in a daze. After setting out with you on this case, it feels like a fog is lifting. I was so happy when Uncle Dai enlisted you to help. I would never have managed to track down these clues by myself. These are some crystals that I bought from the market. Not any old crystals, mind you. This purity is extraordinarily rare. One for each of you. A memory, if you will. It's beautiful. Oh, and the colors change as you turn it. It's like a different crystal from each angle. But of course, take it. And this one is for Mr. Shongli. Uh. 
Huh? I is something wrong? Not to your liking? On the contrary. I just hadn't anticipated receiving a gift during the current circumstances. But thank you. I will take good care of it. I'm pleased you like them. It's nice to be able to give a gift that others can appreciate. Oh, I see more rocks over there. You should all get some rest. I'm going to scan the surroundings. Perhaps there are more memories to uncover. You sure like rocks, huh, Kunji? Ores are the crystals of the earth. The sediment of time itself. I feel at peace among them. Get some rest and call me when you're ready to set off. I won't be far. Rest easy. I surveyed the area. There's no danger here. Oh, however, there is something I wanted to discuss with you. Huh? What's with the seriousness? Traveler, does Dragonfall mean anything to you? You mean the ore that Kunjun's looking for? What's so special about it? Dragonfall is an incredibly rare ore used in forging. The majority of regular crystals are formed in high temperature environments. Dragonfall, on the other hand, is formed as a product of elemental reactions. Elemental reactions can produce material objects? <sighs> Indeed they can. However, only a minority can survive for long periods of time. Dragonfall first emerged in the midst of a great battle thousands of years ago. Powerful clashes of elemental energy gave birth to elemental crystals. When the fighting ceased, these geological remnants were miraculously preserved. <sighs> and yet they are crystal creations all the same. Few and far between, relatively unknown. A few hundred years ago, they were virtually mined into obscurity. Why is it then? that a citizen of Liu now wishes to strike upon ore that has long since vanished from the Earth. Yeah, if he knows of its existence, surely he knows all of it's already been mined. Weird. Paimon doesn't get it. There are those in the mining trade who retain a keen interest in Dragonfall. But for someone like Mr. Kunjun, whose motivations for seeking it are unclear even unto himself, it's practically unheard of. Ulterior motives? <gasps> is he a villain? A conclusion that is presently impossible to reach. We must watch and wait. Don't forget, rescuing those miners is the primary objective. As for anything else, sooner or later the tide will reveal the lie of the land. We're drawing closer to our goal. I believe we should continue to follow this road through. Now that we've found one, the others won't be far away. When you're well rested, call Mr. Kunjun over to us. We still have more investigation ahead. We should ensure this miner is settled here at the camp. Once we've brought this matter to a close, we can return and attend to him. I suggest we leave a note for Uncle Dai. If he does find the camp, he'll know what to do.